Aboriginal-owned businesses have made a five-day trip to Aotearoa to exchange ideas on how to include their culture more in their workplace. The tour includes visits to the New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, Te Matatini and Whakata Māori. A trip to Nam, also known as Melbourne, in 2022 inspired the organisation Making Everything Achievable. They wanted to find ways for Māori businesses to connect with the first natives of Victoria and their companies. We co-created a programme to bring nine Indigenous companies over, uh, which was supported by Global Vic and AED, uh, to help bring a very diverse mix of entrepreneurs to come and learn and understand more about te ao Māori, Māori culture, Māori ways of doing business, but also for us to help uh, establish enduring trade relationships between our businesses and between our nations. Hans Boeklin, who is leading the charge for the nine, feels trade delegations such as these are going to be vital for changes in their businesses. Back in, back in Victoria in particular, we're looking at a treaty opportunity and what can fall off a part of that part of that process for economic development and that's why trade is very important for our two cultures, how we can come together because again we're, we're two cultures who are steeped in culture, in language, that's, that's our identity but also part of that is trade and how do we do that, you know, um, Indigenous with Indigenous. The attendees are learning more about how Aotearoa's treaty works as they look to put forward something similar to the Victorian state government to improve Indigenous rights. Go, and I think there's a lot of things we can learn from the Maldi experience with Treaty of, of Waitangi, and I think we can you know, learn from those examples, even with regards to certain trusts, how they've been um, developing their governance going for. How do we protect uh, Maldi um, intellectual property rights? So there's certain things we, can, we want to learn, but there's a lot of enthusiasm for goodwill, wanting to get things right. And I think that's one thing, I think, with the general population in Victoria, wanting to get things right with a sovereign-to-sovereign -sovereign relationship with First Nations people, in particular in Victoria. A sense of family is what those from Victoria have felt since they set foot on the country's shores. Oh, I'm just really happy to be uh, involved in this. And like, I think the, the word whanau gets thrown around a fair bit. Um, we really feel like that's what we're part of here while we do this. And just to say that we love and respect the culture, and we feel felt, you know, we feel really safe here and being really welcomed, which is, you know, doesn't happen everywhere you go. I think that's indigenous to indigenous business and culture for you. Dunn believes that there is a lot mainstream businesses can learn from indigenous peoples and cultural exchanges. Because often, at the core, is not money only. It's how do I look after my family? How do I look after my community? How do I look after my marae? So all of the community responsibilities, as well as your commercial responsibilities, how do we walk that tight line, that that tightrope, effectively? I feel that we could, with the help of our traditional knowledge. Our technology, our networks, our relationships and friendship, it will help accelerate our growth and our prosperity faster.